The Plymouth Colony may not have survived those first few years without the help of Massasoit. Here are a few things you may not know about him. Massasoit was part of the Poconoket tribe, and his given name, Osimiquin, means yellow feather. The name Massasoit is actually a title meaning Great Sachem, chief of the Wampano Nation. On March 22, 1621, Massasoit made his first visit to Plymouth Plantation. He brought along his brother and 60 armed warriors. Pilgrim Edward Winslow was set out to meet Massasoit and gifted him with knives and copper jewelry and explained that the pilgrims were there to make peace and to forge trading relations. Massasoit liked what he heard and knew that the English would make powerful allies against his enemies in the region. After the devastation of the Great Dying, which was a terrible plague of disease that decimated the Wampano Nation, they were made very vulnerable against their enemies, the Narragansett controlled an area west of Narragansett Bay in present-day Rhode Island. A treaty of peace was forged that stated no one of Massasoit's men would harm the pilgrims, and if they did, he would send them to the pilgrims for punishment. And if anyone did unjust war against Massasoit, the pilgrims would come to his aid. They also agreed that when trading with the Wampano, they would not bring their bows or arrows, and the colonists would not bring their guns. But despite a treaty of peace, there would be tension between the Wampano and the Pilgrims. Massasoit grew not to trust Guanto and demanded the Pilgrims turn him over to the Wampano, but the Pilgrims refused. The relationship would continue to be strained until 1623 when Massasoit became very ill. Colonist Edward Winslow came to visit him and found the tribe in mourning of their leader's impending death. Winslow stayed and nursed Massasoit back to health. Tensions would return in later years as more colonists would arrive, insistent on acquiring new lands. In 1649, to alleviate tension and maintain the peace between his people and the colonists, Massasoit sold a tract of land 14 miles square to Miles Standish. For half a century, Massasoit maintained peace with the Plymouth Colony. It is unclear though when he died, but we know it was somewhere around 1660, and we know he lived to be between 80 or 90 years old. <laughs>